Hi guys, well today I'm going to be showing you how to set up two NVMe SSDs in RAID 0 as a boot configuration. So we're actually going to be using Samsung's newly released 950 Pros for this particular video. And uh, the Intel Z170 chipset actually works hand in hand with this entire process because we have NVMe support. And uh, the board that we're actually going to be using today, the MSI Z178 X Power Gaming Titanium, has twin M.2 ports. So you know, that's perfect for our scenario, you don't have to go around trying to source a PCI Express adapter. So the reason that we actually produced uh, this video was pretty simple. Uh, you know, we hit a brick wall ourselves when we tried to set up this configuration. And having looked around and seen others having the same type of problems without any solution, we figured it would be a good idea to perhaps devise a bit of a tutorial on how to get things rolling. And you know, it's still relatively early days for NVMe drives on the M.2 form factor, so it can be quite tricky getting something like RAID 0 set up with a new build, especially if you're going for a boot configuration with something like uh, Windows 10. Now, we've actually already produced a uh, full review on the 950 Pros in RAID. Uh, the links are on the screen and in the description. And over there, you know, setting up a RAID configuration in Windows is no problem at all. But that is only, of course, ideal if you're going to be using them as secondary drives. It just becomes a bit more of a challenge when you, you know, trying to get them to play ball as bootable drives. But with our guide today, you should be well on your way to getting up and running in no time. So let's crack on and begin. Okay, well the first thing that you're going to want to do is obviously install those two SSDs. So we've got our 950 Pros and we're just going to drop them onto those M.2 ports on the board. So you just need to detach that screw, plug the drive in, and then reattach the screw to keep it secure. Okay, so even if you're planning to add in more drives for extra storage, at this stage, just to make life a bit easier, it's best to leave them disconnected so that we've only got the M.2s attached and nothing else interferes with the installation. And we can connect those drives up after the operating system is obviously installed. Next, you're going to want to get a USB drive ready to make a bootable image of the operating system. So for this, we used Rufus, which is a handy little app that is actually really easy to use. It burns the Windows 10 image directly to the USB drive and makes it bootable. Now, at this stage, it's essential to get the latest Intel Rapid Storage driver. Right now, November 2015, we're on to version 14.6. And, uh, you know, part of the reason why we had so much difficulty getting the RAID 0 to be recognized during the Windows install was due to outdated drivers on MSI's website. So we've already uh, downloaded the drivers and uh, put them into a folder on that bootable USB drive. Ready for the Windows 10 install, as we're going to need to point to those drivers when you're inside the Windows 10 wizard. Okay, we now need to jump into the BIOS, so obviously power the system up, hit that Dell key to access the BIOS. Now between the different vendors, this part will be slightly different, but the basis is pretty much the same, so just keep a lookout for similar terminology. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go into Settings, Advanced, and jump into Integrated Peripherals. Now this is really important because we need to change the SATA mode from AHCI to RAID, otherwise there's no rapid storage option, plus Windows will recognize the 950 Pros as independent drives. Now just make sure that you also enable remapping on both of them too. Okay, so now we need to go into Settings, Advanced, and you can see there we've got Intel Rapid Storage that appears at the very bottom. Go into that, and then you should see your two drives, but they are listed as non-RAID. So we now need to create the RAID volume. Uh, so click on that, and then just change the name to something which is relevant. So I'll just call it 950 Pro RAID. RAID 0 is selected. And then we just need to select both drives and it combines the two capacities together so I've got 480 gig and all that's left to do is just to hit create volume. Now before we leave the BIOS we just need to adjust the boot sequence so that the USB drive is picked up. So go back into the settings, go to boot and then select USB hard disk. So we're now ready to go, just need to hit F10 to save and exit. Okay, so during post, that Windows image should initiate and then you go through the various screens on the wizard. Okay, now at this stage, you'd usually get a list of hard drives that you can install the operating system on. But as you can see, Windows 10 
uh, kind of has a bit of trouble picking up that RAID volume that we created just a few moments ago. So what we need to do is give it a bit of help, feed it that Intel Rapid Storage Driver in order for us to be able to install Windows 10 onto that RAID configuration. Now if we'd have left the SATA config set to AHCI in the BIOS, those drives would appear but they'd appear separately. You'd only be able to install the operating system on one of them, which kind of defeats the whole objective here. And again, just to point out, any other rapid storage driver before 14.6 will not identify the 950 Pros in RAID. You know, we spent many hours modifying settings until we realized uh, the Intel driver on the website, uh, the MSI website, is 14.5, and it simply does not pick up those drives in RAID. So click on Load Driver, and then point to that 64-bit rapid storage driver, This can take quite a while to finalize. And then once it's done, you can clearly see the Samsung 950 Pros combined and in that RAID 0 config. So let's select that drive select new, hit apply, OK, and then click next. OK, so Windows 10 is installed on our RAID setup as you can see. So let's just do a quick reboot to see how quick that boot up time is with the 950 Pros in RAID 0. Alright guys, well there you have it from start to finish, that is basically how you configure a bootable RAID configuration on NVMe M.2 SSDs. And hopefully you've been able to see in this video just how easy it really is, you need to follow those steps in order to get up and running. But crucial to the process is that rapid storage driver, you know it's really important to use 14.6 or above, otherwise the Windows 10 wizard will fail to pick up on the RAID volume for the installation. Now for each board vendor, they'll have a slightly different BIOS arrangement, but it shouldn't be too far away from what we've shown you today if you're perhaps using uh, you know, a Zeus or a Gigabyte board. So I hope you've enjoyed this guide today, guys. Please give us a thumbs up. If you uh, like this content, please subscribe. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video.